Hi, this is Layla Mays. I'm a research scientist at Goddard. You're viewing a solar wind simulation called Enlil from Dr. Dushan Achasil. You can think of this as a weather map for the solar system. This simulation provides solar wind predictions at Pluto for the New Horizons flyby. New Horizons trajectory is the white line that you can see near the Earth when it launched in 2006, and it has taken nine and a half years to reach Pluto in 2015. The sun is at the center, and we're viewing the plane of the planets from above as we're zooming out of the inner solar system. The planets are labeled as circles, and the spacecraft by squares. The color is showing the density of particles in the solar wind, which are always streaming out from the sun. And near the Earth, the solar wind speed is about a million miles per hour. And you can see that the solar wind structures maintain their shape at large distances. The black outlines you see are coronal mass ejections from the sun, which expand and elongate as they flow out. You can see that they're being captured by the solar wind structures and merge to form global merged interaction regions, which the New Horizons spacecraft can observe as enhancements. The coronal mass ejections can take about five months to reach Pluto, so this simulation began six months ago and includes information about over 100 coronal mass ejections now we start to zoom in on Pluto before the time of the New Horizons flyby, closest approach in mid-July.